Pleasure. Can you talk to us a little bit, to start off with, a little bit about what Ocean Removable Power does? Well, we are a developer of hydrokinetic power systems and commercial hydrokinetic uh, projects. Uh, that is that we have uh, technology power systems that will generate uh, clean, reliable, and economic supplies of renewable electric power from uh, river, tidal, and deep water ocean currents. Okay. And there not not very. I don't know that there are many people out there that know about tidal power. Is that a, is that an evolving thing? Is it has the technology been around for a while? It's uh, it's evolving. Uh, more people are becoming aware of it. Um, I think the reason is because uh, with tidal power, it's more of a, a, a regional resource. In other words, you're not going to do tidal power in the state of Arizona or in uh, Illinois, but uh, in areas where uh, good tidal resources and good deep water ocean current resources exist, uh, it, it is pretty well known. In Maine, in Alaska, which are the main venues where we operate here in the U.S., uh, it's a, it, it, it is a big deal. It is new in the sense that it's, it's evolving, it's an emerging uh, industry. Uh, a lot of the components that are in our technology, honestly, 20 years ago didn't exist. Uh, permanent magnet generators and uh, very sophisticated composite materials. And there's a lot of things that have come into their own over the last several years that we have incorporated into our power systems. Uh, and so it wouldn't have been possible 20 years ago, honestly. Sure. Talk to us about what some of your systems are, how the, what they look like, and sure. how you the, have the value. The, the, uh, the core component uh, of our system is uh, we call our TGU, the Turbine Generator Unit. Uh, right now, actually, as, as we're speaking, we are operating uh, the largest uh, ocean energy power system uh, ever deployed in U.S. waters. Uh, that's uh, at the mouth of the Bay of Fundy in Eastport, Maine. <clears throat> it's a 60-kilowatt uh, rated uh, power system. And uh, the reason that this project is so important and why we're so ecstatic about having met or exceeded all of our design expectations is that the turbine generator unit, the, the, we call it the beta TGU in this system, is really the building blocks for our three power systems that we're uh, developing right now. The first is uh, called TIGEN power system, and uh, that's designed for tidal sites that are up to 150 feet in depth. And it's a, 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 a TGU, a, a larger TGU than uh, what we have uh, uh, today, uh, adding a couple extra turbines on it. The turbines themselves are commercial scale, but we're just going to add a couple more turbines. Uh, that'll be a 150 kilowatt rated uh, system. Sits on a bottom support frame, and uh, we would put a whole array of these uh, devices in the water. They would be uh, uh, connected to a common underwater power cable that would take the power to shore. So that's our Taijin power system. Um, that's going to be deployed for the first time uh, next year, about a year from now, October 2011. It'll be probably the first grid-connected tidal power system in the United States. Wow. So it's a, a major milestone. And where is that going to be? That will be in uh, Eastport, Maine, uh, at the entrance of the mouth of the Bay of Fundy. So uh, it's a big project for us. It's a big project for the industry, obviously, in the U.S. particularly. Um, the following year, uh, we're going to be deploying our first RivGen power system, and what we've done with the RivGen system is essentially taken the, uh, the generator that we're operating now, the turbine generator unit, and shrinking it down a little, uh, making it a size that's easily shipped to remote sites, and this uh, particular system is uh, really geared towards smaller uh, river sites and, in fact, remote communities. Uh, where uh, most of these uh, communities are actually using diesel, so this is essentially a fuel swap uh, play. Um, and uh, this system is uh, very similar to TIGEN in that it sits on a bottom support frame. We'll have a debris diversion device, which is always, a, a, of course, debris in rivers is, a, is an issue. So that'll be installed, uh, the first uh, commercial unit, in 2012. And then in the following year, 2013, we'll be deploying our third and largest power system we call Octian Power System. It also is a, is a tidal system and can be used for deep water ocean currents. 
And essentially what we do is we take the Tigen uh, TGU, we make it neutrally buoyant, we stack up to four of them together, so it has four times the capacity. And then that entire unit is floated in the uh, water column at some prescribed distance above the bottom uh, in order to get the best uh, uh, resource uh, out of the water. Uh, and then there's held in place with a, with a mooring system and then we would of course have a whole array of these uh, underwater oxygen modules uh, uh, coming to a common uh, uh, power cable that would take it to shore. So those are the, the three systems we're working on now. We have an offshoot up of our beta TGU we're actually looking at for uh, uh, gas and oil platforms in Cook Inlet. We call it our platform TGU. Uh, it turns out that this uh, uh, this beta uh, TGU is ideally suited in terms of size for the needs of uh, offshore platforms in terms of providing their ongoing uh, power needs for cathodic protection and lighting. So talk to me a little bit about the, the demo or the model that you have right here. Yeah, this is a, this is a scale model of our uh, Tigen uh, device. Um, two primary components are the bottom support frame, which is uh, put into place first. It has to be within some tolerance, fairly level, uh, and it's a, a gravity base. So, in other words, it's designed that once it's there, uh, it's going to withstand all the forces of the tides. And then the turbine generator unit, the TGU, uh, this is the Tide 10 TGU. You can see it has four turbines. Uh, by the way, the system we're operating in Eastport today, the turbines that we're operating are, in fact, this scale. So we're already at full scale in terms of our turbine technology. But essentially, after the bottom frame is mounted, we would then lower the, obviously, this is doing it easier than it will actually be, but we will lower the uh, TGU into place, and there'll be a mechanical connection to the bottom support frame. Uh, there'll be a uh, obviously electric uh, a cable connection, and again the the, the, the cable will come out uh, underwater, uh, go to shore. There will be a whole array of these devices. One of the neat things about this design then is when uh, when we need to uh, inspect and maintain and adjust and clean or whatever our TGU, uh, just as we are able to lower it into place, we're able to also remove it. Uh, without having to remove the bottom support frame. So that's a key component because the, the TGU itself will weigh probably in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 tons, uh, whereas the bottom support frame will be considerably heavier. And who's the primary customer? Uh, the customer uh, uh, for our systems will be uh, other uh, hydrokinetic uh, uh, developers, ocean energy developers who uh, uh, just want to develop projects. They're looking for the systems to do it. Utilities. Um, we're getting a lot of interest from uh, community power systems. Uh, uh, there are a lot of places uh, around Maine and Alaska, places like Homer, Alaska, or or Wiscasset, Maine, uh, Muskeget Channel in Massachusetts, uh, Edgar Town, uh, town of Edgar Town. These are all smaller uh, projects, so it doesn't necessarily make sense for us to go in and develop a project and sell the electricity because they're they're not huge projects, but. Um, we're working with them. We uh, will uh, hope to be able to sell them uh, systems and a lot of the services that go with it because obviously who knows uh, better how to install and, and uh, uh, maintain these systems than we do. So that's a, that's a, a, a technology transfer that we would do Great. along with the, the sales. Final question, and this is more personal than anything. We ask this of everybody that's in our series, and that is, why are you doing what you're doing? <laughs> My wife asks me that quite often. Uh, not really. She's she's totally supportive. Well, this is uh, this is the twilight of my career. I've been in the electricity business since uh, 1977. Uh, I've been doing uh, cogeneration facilities, independent power. I've developed pretty much every type of power plant known to man, um, and it, it's been an, it's been a great ride. I loved it. Uh, I'm an engineer by training, and. Um, when this opportunity came along, uh, our, our founder, a guy named uh, Captain Paul Wells, uh, asked uh, myself and my uh, good friend John Cooper, who's our CFO, to, to help him out. It just seemed like this could be something that could really change the way that we uh, generate and distribute power. It looked like a game changer, potentially a game changer. 
you know, almost three quarters of the earth covered with water, almost three quarters of the electricity in the world is used within 200 miles of ocean. So there's some real dynamics here. And it, and it just got to me and I thought, you know, this would be a, this would be a great way to kind of really do something, use all of my life's experiences, and trust me, it's taken all of my life's experiences, and uh, bring it together, and you know, at the bottom of this, uh, you know, we want to make a lot of money and all that, but you know, at the bottom of it, if you talk to anyone on the ORPC team, 